Okay, everybody, check out this quick video. Wow. Uh, look at the elderly. You wonder sometimes why the youth act up? Well, I hope that this one here, um, I hope it didn't procreate with, it, with this mindset. He beat his roommate, they say, over some tacos. Oh, yeah, check this out. Uh, pretty quick video, not too long. This will be part A. Then stick around for part B, a separate video for the commentary. This makes absolutely no sense. Tome may look peaceful, but on Wednesday night, police say it was anything but. There was a murder over Taco Bell. A 72-year-old man is dead, his roommate behind bars. Oh, God, it scared the hell out of me. It really did. There's blood all over upstairs. <laughs> Bob and Larry can't believe it. Police say their roommate, 72-year-old Dale Mitchell, was beaten to death by their other roommate, 54-year-old Mark Newsom. He's charged with second-degree murder. They say it stemmed when Mark accused Dale of stealing his Taco Bell. To think that a uh, fight over food would escalate to murder, you know. I mean, it's inconceivable. Bob and Larry say they were both trying to sleep when the fight broke out at their boarding home off Waldorf Street in Roseville. I heard a kabang. It like the dresser was being thrown down. Then, voices. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Leave me alone. And, um... Quit, please quit. And that's what I heard. It's just uh, senseless. I uh, trusted uh, Mark as my friend. I could never believe that he would have done something like that. If we've come to grips with life about fighting and killing somebody over a taco or food itself, there's got to be more to life than that. Prosecutor Pete Lucido says if convicted, Newsom could spend the rest of his life behind bars all over a taco. Man, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and get to part B, people, the commentary. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> 